Okay, so today I was going to have another look at 3D printing a Blood Bowl Stadium. Uh, this is the first piece I've already done video about. Uh, so in that I talked about there was, wasn't quite flat enough to play on, that some models would fall over, be a bit of an issue. I've reached out to the manufacturers and they've said that they know this is an issue. This is why they released this one as a test print. Um, it's a file that they'd been working on, decided it wasn't flat enough, so they've gone with flatter ones. So, this was printed in SLA resin, and this one I had a friend of mine print in FDM. So it's exactly the same file. Um, I'll put some uh, photos up, closely, close comparisons of the two of them. Um, but this one is with the uh, FDM, the sort of melted plastic approach, whereas this is the liquid resin approach. The melted plastic normally has a lower amount of detail and you can definitely see this with this. Comparing the two together, the resin definitely has higher detail. The main advantage of the melted plastic is A, you can do a lot bigger things. This is as big as I can fit on my printer, whereas you can fit much bigger things on the CR10 that this was printed on. I don't know much of the details of how it's printed, but I'll got them all and I'll put them up in a little inserted picture. Um, I just don't know them well enough to talk the way through but uh, for those of you interested they will be there so uh, FDM it's much cheaper this a whole pitch is going to cost about 110 pounds to print slightly less probably whereas this you're talking more like 70 pounds so getting on for half the price of this this one as we looked at fairly robust but um, a whack with a hammer did get through it kind of unsurprising uh, falling off the table and stuff wasn't so much of an issue. What I did notice once I had the two pieces printed is the side that was lowest on the plate, because I printed it on an angle upright, wasn't quite flat. That's more the way I've supported it than anything. But I will have to take more care when I'm printing the whole pitch to actually play on so they fit together. The rest of it is fine and these tiles definitely match up nicely. Okay, so the first test I did was simply dropping it off the sides of the table. Again, doesn't look like there's been any harm or damage to it. Any harm or damage to this one. Seems to survive the drop off the table fine, no harm or damage happening to it. So dropping a drink on it. Again, that looks like it's gone absolutely fine, no damage. Now, the thing that finished off the SLA was the being hit with a hammer. So test this one, and genuine decent hard hits. Uh, nothing for that one. Right, okay. If you're playing this roughly, you don't deserve nice toys but it has definitely smashed into it um, yeah that's shattered all the way through probably repairable and this is the kind of inside of it it was done with a 20% infill you could up the infill amounts um, but I don't think you need to the, that was excessive force. Uh, I don't. I think it's probably repairable if you absolutely had to, but you shouldn't be hitting it with a hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so that's 3D printed blood bowl pictures. Now on to. I'll just quickly. I've started working on the design for the actual stadium, so I've divided it up the number of square number of pitch squares into the number of tiles. So that's what these squares are. It'll take. 50 of these tiles to make one pitch, which is a fair number. But interestingly, we do have the one litre SLA boxes from Elegoo, and I'm guessing from other manufacturers because they're all the same size bottle. The tiles fit neatly inside them. So if you are looking for storage solution, there you go. Also in this box is, let's start with a troll and a lineman and a team 
marker token. So these are from the Pirates of Orc Bay Kickstarter that's about a month ago now. Uh, I believe the files are up online just to buy as digital downloads and I'll put a link to that below. Uh, but these are just about the first thing I really started printing on my printer. Again, I'll put proper high definition photos up um, of what's going on, but I love them. Um, they cost, a, I mean, that was probably about two pounds ish, these more like a pound ish to print. So, for a relatively sensible amount of money, you can get a whole team out of it. And I will be working on printing stadium and two teams to play with because I think a whole 3D printed blood boldness will go nice. I'm using actual Games Workshop bases. I could print my own bases, but I like the uniformity of having the same bases across my whole team. Uh, so, that's the logic behind that. So, these will be playing on the stadium, but at the same time, uh, the stadium itself will look a bit bare without some things going on it in it so I have got uh, those three I'll talk about in a minute but these are from the Titan Forge Patreon uh, someone uh, Bean Affleck I think his name is resculpted the barkeeper into an ogress fan um, I love it. Uh, so thank you to him for sharing the file with me. Um, but these are just other. These aren't specifically designed for Blood Bowl. They are for kind of generic RPG. The Patreon each month has a theme. This month it's a tavern. So you've got your zombie cook, uh, your barkeeper, and this one. I'm I think it was the way I set the printer up, bit of an issue with the arm. Just stop it now. Stop. I think that's how I have my settings rather than any particular problem in the file. Uh, but again, it won't take much to snip off that arm and put a better one on. And these will start to populate my stadium. So he'll probably end up as a vendor in one of the shops. Uh, so they're from the Patreon. And from that same Kickstarter Pirate Orc team I know I mentioned, I experimented with printing them in different scales till I got a size I was happy with. So these are players, but from a slightly failed scale. So we've got a chef with a shark and a um, pirate orc drinking his beer so they'll just go nicely into the stadium and hopefully as time goes on I will get hundreds of different fan models uh, into the stadium and you'll see it all come together anyway thank you very much for watching